Hey everyone, Dana here, and today I thought I would do something fun. Well, I think it's fun now, but let's see how I feel after I cut my own hair. I have seen that some of you have mentioned it down in the comments. Yeah, my hair has gotten pretty long. Um, it actually goes all the way to the top of my pants now. That's a little long for me. I have already had my hair fall in the toilet once, don't ask, and in my food multiple times, so time for a haircut. But I don't really have a hairdresser here in Germany, so I just thought like, come schon, I'll do it myself. How hard can it be? Yeah. <laughs> And I'm gonna teach you some English while I do it. Depending on how the haircut goes, I guess I'll either be teaching you idioms or curse words. <laughs> we'll just have to see. I'm a little nervous. Lately, I've been watching a lot of German YouTubers, including Domino Kati. Maybe you know her YouTube channel. And I'm gonna be using her hair cutting technique, or at least the technique that I saw first in one of her videos. And as far as English goes, let's start already with the word hair. In German, you can talk about hair in the singular or the plural. As far as I understand it, you can basically decide if you wanna say like, ich schneide meine Haare, plural, or ich schneide mein Haar, singular. In English, that is not the case, but I have heard quite a lot of Germans say like, I got my hairs cut, or your hairs look so nice. No, 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 do not say that. If you're talking about the hair on your head in general, then you use the singular. So my hair is too long, I am cutting my own hair for the first time and I'm a little nervous, I don't want to totally mess up my hair, Singular, singular, singular. And I would say at this point, I am probably just procrastinating actually cutting my own hair. But speaking of procrastinating, in English we say to put something off. So I'm just talking about English now, to put off cutting my own hair. Okay, so first I'm brushing my hair. This is not part of the English lessons, I'm just nervous. <laughs> More procrastinating. So what Kati did in her video is she took her hair like this. Now, th the thing is, I have my part on the side and Kati had her part in the middle, but I, I generally wear my part here, so I don't know. I hope yeah, this doesn't make a difference. Is it flat, Stefan? <laughs> okay, so she put her hair like this. Oh gosh, no, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel like her hair looked. I don't have a mirror. I think she probably also had a mirror. And I don't have a mirror. Is it in the middle? Okay, all right, that feels good. Her hair was also damp and my hair is dry. I don't know if that'll make a difference. <laughs> don't follow this tutorial. I will link to Kati's video. Don't follow this tutorial. This tutorial is a mess. This is just a trim. I'm not like cutting my hair up to here. For that, I would go to a hairdresser. And I guess I'll just cut it here. No, Stefan says no. He says I should make it here. I was gonna cut more, but Stefan is suggesting that I that I cut less. Mm. That's like nothing, I guess. It... It's a lot. Okay. It's like three centimeters. Okay, so I've got a pair of scissors here, and I would just like to set the record straight that in Kati's video, she did specify that you should have scissors made for cutting hair. So she did specify that. However, I do not own scissors for cutting hair. That's on me. And I'm going into this taking full responsibility. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be using these scissors and I hope that's okay. So okay, yeah. I've got a pair of scissors here, which unlike hair is always plural. These are scissors. Where are the scissors? They are in my hand. I am bringing them up to my hair now. I am using the scissors. Plural, hair, singular. Stefan is hiding his eyes, he can't watch. Okay, so did I think she just like snipped it. I snipped it! I did it! 
I got my hair. I got it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, that's a sheaf. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's definitely, definitely crooked. Okay. Is it going to be for Slim Besser? I'm like, a little bit on this side, a little bit on that side. I do my own for Slim Besser. So I'm just, I'm just going to trim this up a little bit. Now I understand, whoopsie, now I understand why it would be good to have scissors that are for cutting hair. But when she cut it, she cut it right up against the hair band and then that made it like, you know. No, she had really sharp scissors that don't push the hair aside like these scissors do. Okay, so great, I cut my hair. I cut my own hair. I haven't seen what it looks like yet out of this, but I cut my own hair. Wait, did I just say that I cut my hair so in the past but i thought cut was the present isn't cutted the past no that is wrong unfortunately english does have some irregular verbs cut cut and cut he cuts hair for a living i cut my own hair just then so in the past i cut my own hair and i had never cut my own hair before Cut, cut, cut. Okay, so, but now let's see what it looks like out of this. Wow, I am pleasantly surprised. I kind of thought that this was going to be a disaster, but I really love how it turned out. Like it feels really fresh and new. It turned out really straight and even, which is great. The ends are yeah, they're not dry anymore. You know, I, I got rid of that, the dry stuff at the end and they're not split. And yeah, it's still, it's still long. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So that's nice that it wasn't a total disaster. <laughs> Yay! So my question for you is, have you ever cut your own hair? How did it go? Any disaster fail stories or any success stories or any stories of Verschlimbessern? Like you kept cutting a little off here and a little off here and you kept trying to make it better, but you only made it worse. Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and thank you for liking and commenting and subscribing for more videos on Mondays and Thursdays. And don't forget that I'll be doing a live book reading event at the Hugendubel am Stachos in Munich on July 18th, 2019, the reading event will begin at 6 p.m. And there's more information down in the description box below. Until next time, auf Wiedersehen.